most enterprises today are going for hybrid cloud. In this step, let's discuss what is the difference between public, private and hybrid cloud. And we'll also look at the networking options that AWS provides for, for setting up hybrid clouds. Let's quickly start with public versus private versus hybrid clouds. What is a public cloud? You host everything in the cloud. You do not need a data center anymore. So all your resources are in the cloud. So you are not putting in any capital expenditure. You are, so you are not investing money ahead of time. All that you are doing is paying for using the resources. When you're making use of public cloud, all the hardware resources are owned by the cloud platform. It might be AWS, Azure or Google Cloud, but the hardware resources are owned by the cloud platform. All hardware failures and also the security of the data center is now the responsibility of the cloud platform. So when you're going for public cloud, the hardware is owned by the cloud platform and shared between multiple tenants. A tenant is nothing but a customer who rents the infrastructure, you, me, and other enterprises. What is private cloud? When you're making use of a private cloud, you host everything in your data center. This needs capital expenditure. You need to invest money ahead of time. And you'd also need a team to maintain this infrastructure. Obviously, a private cloud delivers higher level of security and privacy. The last option is hybrid cloud. A hybrid cloud is a combination of both public cloud plus private cloud. So you would use public cloud for some workloads and private cloud for others. A good example is connecting an on-premise app to a cloud database. Going hybrid cloud provides you with flexibility. You can either go on-premises or you can go cloud based on a specific requirement. Now, if you want to connect AWS with on-premises, you'd want to set up a hybrid cloud. What are the options that are present? The first option is AWS Managed VPN. These are tunnels from VPC to on-premises. When you are setting up a AWS Managed VPN, the traffic between AWS and your on-premises goes over the internet and it is encrypted using IPsec protocol. You would set up a VPN gateway to connect one VPC to the customer network and you'd install a customer gateway in the customer network. If you don't want your traffic to go over internet, you can go with AWS Direct Connect. It's a private dedicated network connection to on-premises. The great thing about Direct Connect is that it would reduce your internet bandwidth costs. Why? Because this traffic does not go over internet. And it also provides you with consistent network performance. You are making use of a private network, so it provides you with reliable network performance. However, a word of caution, establishing direct connect connection takes a little while, typically about a month. And it is recommended to have a backup DC connection. So it's always recommended to establish a redundant direct connect connection for maximum reliability. Another thing to remember is that Direct Connect is a private connection only. The data on it is not encrypted by the network. In this step, we looked at two options to set up hybrid cloud in AWS. AWS Managed VPN and AWS Direct Connect. I'm sure you're having a wonderful time and I'll see you in the next step.